Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the gas valve assembly in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Shut off the gas supply as well and the cold water supply. Remove the water inlet line from the steam valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Remove the external venting as well. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the power cord access panel. Unthread the remaining screws securing the rear panel. Pull the rear panel out and up to remove. Now disconnect the gas supply line and remove the fitting. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the two screws securing the gas inlet pipe bracket. Next, pull out the lint filter and place a towel over the opening to prevent the screws from falling into the venting. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the main top to the lint filter housing. Now insert a putty knife under the main top to release the two spring clips. Lift the main top up. Disconnect the door switch wire connector. Use the 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the front panel. Lift the front panel up and out to remove. Now reach under the drum and push the idler pulley to release the tension on the belt, then unthread the belt from the idler pulley and motor pulley. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. Disconnect the two solenoid coil wire connectors. Disconnect the igniter wire connector and the flame sensor wires as well. Next, unthread the two screws securing the front of the gas valve bracket to the dryer base. Loosen the screw securing the middle of the bracket. You can now slide the entire gas valve and burner assembly out. Use the 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the burner assembly to the gas valve bracket. Remove the burner assembly, being careful not to damage the igniter. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the two screws, securing the gas valve to the bracket. Slide off the bracket. Now unthread the old gas valve from the pipe. To install the new gas valve assembly, first apply thread sealant to the threads of the gas inlet pipe. Now thread the new gas valve onto the pipe. The gas valve orifice and pipe should be facing the same direction. 
properly realign the gas valve bracket. Secure it with the screws. Be aware, if your dryer uses propane gas, you will need to transfer the orifice from the old gas valve to the new one. You may have to transfer the cap as well, or rotate the dial to the appropriate setting for propane. Realign the burner assembly and replace the screws to secure. Now slide the gas inlet pipe through the opening in the rear bulkhead as you align the burner assembly in the burner housing and the gas valve bracket on the base. Tighten the middle screw to hold the bracket in place. Then thread and tighten the two front screws. Connect the flame sensor wires to the terminals. Connect the igniter wire connector. Connect the wire connectors to the solenoid coils. Confirm that the idler pulley is in place on the base. Then replace the drum by aligning the rim with the felt seal on the rear rollers. Loop the belt around the idler pulley and motor pulley in a zigzag formation. Now rotate the drum to help align the belt. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the front of the drum on the bulkhead while hooking the slots at the bottom of the panel on the mounting clips attached to the frame. Replace the screws to secure the panel. Reconnect the door switch wire. Lower the main top and snap it into position. Thread and tighten the screws to secure the main top to the lint filter housing. Replace the lint filter. Reposition the existing bracket to secure the gas inlet pipe and secure it with the screws. Apply thread sealant to the threads of the gas inlet pipe. Then attach the fitting. Reconnect the gas line to the fitting. Reinstall the rear panel by inserting the lower tabs behind the edge of the base. Fully align the panel, then thread and tighten all of the screws. Replace the power cord access panel and secure it with the screw. Reattach the water inlet line to the steam valve. Reattach the external venting to the exhaust outlet. Turn the gas supply back on and apply a soap and water solution to the connection to confirm there is no gas leak. The solution will bubble if there is a leak. Turn the cold water supply back on, plug the power cord back in, and your gas dryer should be ready for use.